everyone welcome back to the channel i'm mike pretty sim and uh, well we all want a stutter free flight sim right so we use tools like auto fps smooth flight but now there is a new contestant on the market well it's freeware it's, it's freeware like auto fps and smooth flight it's free and it's called aero tune mfs <laughs> So, what is it? Let's have a look. Go to the website, Aerotune MFS. It's uh, AI powered optimization, intelligent real time performance optimization for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and 2024. So, let AI handle the tweaking while you focus on flying. So, the latest version is uh, 1.07. You can download a direct download or from flightsim.to, and I will leave the link in the description and also the link to the website here because you're gonna need it all right so once you download it you need a uh, a key uh, to run it it's just send an email you get an email back um, and it's done now there's a uh, high volume notice Overwhelming support due to high demand. Response time for support tickets may be delayed. Please check your frequently asked questions and troubleshooting guides before submitting a new ticket. All right, so but that's for the support tickets. But you will get a key and then it will run. So why Aerotune MFS? Well, optimize your flight simulator performance automatically with advanced AI and real-time monitoring. You can run it fully automatic. Or go advanced if you like it intelligent monitoring uh, adaptive real-time tuning it's safe and non-invasive and quick and easy setup it's really quick and easy it is download install verify it with your uh, with the key that is provided to you via mail and then you launch simulator you start aero tune and fly smoothly well that basically is what we want right so there are frequently asked questions here. Uh, you can go through them uh, if you like. And then uh, there's the uh, support and community, Discord community, uh, support tickets, support development. And then here are the uh, documentations. So the user guide, troubleshooting and frequently asked questions, TLOT settings and high altitude boost. Shutter detection mode, configuration guide, preset share code. It's a lot, right? So, if you run it automatically, it's pretty fun. It's gonna do its job. If you want to uh, tweak some settings, you can do that in the configuration file of it. But it's all here in the documentation. So, if I click here, user guide, getting started. It's all in there. So, read this, this documentation here online. Um, there's a lot of information in here. I can go back, troubleshooting. Or you can come in here for your T-LOT settings and high altitude boost. What you have to change. There's a lot in it. Um, I will take a deep dive into this system in a later video. But for now, I just wanted to show you this one. Now, where can you get it? You can get it on flightsim.to. Aerotune. MFS, you got some screenshots here. You can even get some warnings here um, on your display what all the settings are or what it is doing. Um, here is the um, tray tool menu that you can have. I will show that to you later. So there's a lot in here. What can be done and what is done in the background so all here is also everything it does so it's a uh, key features and you can just download it here from flightsim.to again link in the description below the video and in the first comment all right so when we have that let's go to the flight simulator here so here in the sim once you run um Aerotune and you have it running it will show a window like this now you see a lot of warning stutter event triggered callback triggered all these things because I'm recording and 
using a lot of uh, my VRAM, of course. But if I scroll back to the top here, uh, it's a long way. Here we go. This is the start. It will start up and it will uh, get all the information it needs to predict and to a stutter or um, well make sure that you have a very smooth flight so it will change your T-LOT and OLOT settings and shadow settings in the background if you go to your normal settings in the sim let me minimize this one so if you go to your normal settings here in the sim you won't see it change your T-LOT and OLOT settings because it will do that in the background. So you can keep those at 100 or 100 like I have, but it will not. you will not see it change here. It changes it in the background. All right. So you just start a flight, let it run in the background and you're good to go. Now, First of all, you have to go um, also to here. Here you can see it. Aerotune is running. Memory manager is okay. Sim connect is okay. Performance monitor. It's using the uh, NVIDIA SMI. And the uh, machine learning is ready. If you right click here, you will get some presets. You can do the calibration. Uh, you can... Uh, Quick calibration like performance focus, balance focus, quality focus, or extended analysis. I did the extended analysis and then let it run. Like, uh, and don't look back at it. Just run it in the background and it's okay. Use CPU thresholds, use GPU thresholds and VRAM thresholds. Uh, high altitude uh, terrain level of detail boost. And the uh, ML stutter detection is on. And you can change your limits also. Uh, reconnect to SimConnect, report a bug um, about Aerotune MFFS. And, all the, and you can exit the program right here. It's very easy to do. You just start it first time. You do a calibration. Don't do anything to the Sim. Just let it run. It does it, uh, the calibration. And once it's done, it will start working from there. So that is basically how this works. It's, it's running all in the background. And I've been using this one for about two weeks now. And I haven't seen any stutter in the sim again. So even in VR, it works with in, in VR. Um, I disabled the uh, the pop-ups of the warning for a stutter or something because I, I just don't see the screen. But you can switch it on. Um, if you come in here and come... I uh, don't know if it's in here or some, uh, somewhere else. If you want to use a um, calibration wizard, it will open like this. You set your target FPS, you set your priority, priority, quality, balanced or FPS. You can set here the duration for the calibration. So the longer is more accurate. So I think if you start, go around 300 seconds. That's a five minute test. So that will be good. And you can see here your system status, CPU, GPU and VRAM usage. You can start your calibration. Um, and then and do all this. You can find all the documentation. Uh, if you press here on the help section, you will, it will take you to the uh, documentation section. And then you get your uh, progress. You will see here the progress and you will find all your results here. So you can do that. So that is a manual calibration. But you probably will be fine if you just use the extended analysis or a balanced calibration that will be just fine okay guys so try it out i will leave the links in the description below the video it works great 
Um, I've been using it for two weeks now. Let it run in the background. And most of my flights were stutter free, especially on landings. Right? When you get sometimes a stutter when you're on the short final uh, of your approach, you will get a stutter. I haven't had anything of that in the sim. And I'm on sim update for beta. So if you encounter some problems, maybe with um, sim connect, because, well, they're working on the sim connect issues in a sim update for beta. That's why most other programs that run outside of the sim who, um, who use sim connect sometimes don't work properly. Like say, say intentions, they have massive problems um, with sim connect when you use a beta version of the sim. But uh, I didn't have any problems with it, neither in Sim Update 3 or Sim Update 4 Beta. So feel free to use it. If it's uh, any benefit for you, let me know in a comment. If it's not working for you, also let me know. Um, if it's really good for you, well, let the uh, developer on uh, flightsim.to know it. Leave a comment there. Thank him, buy him a coffee, whatsoever. Feel free to use it and uh, happy flying, guys. Have a great weekend and uh, see you in the next one. This was Mike, Ferti Sim, and take care. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys.